This one says, uh, hello, my name is George, and I'm really enjoying your Acidoc series, and I appreciate all the medical advice you give in this series. I had a few questions regarding SARMs, selective androgen receptor modulators. Are they really a safer alternative to anabolic steroids that will not produce any bad health side effects, or can they still offer just as many negative side effects as anabolic steroids? There supposedly isn't as much research on these compounds, and there is much debate whether they actually contribute to muscle growth. If they do work, is there a recommended dosage from a certain compound, including PCT, that would be safer for someone wanting to cycle on these compounds? Thank you very much for your help, George. Okay, this is a this is another good one. Yeah. Well, you're the one picking the questions. That's so right. <laughs> of course. Right. So SARMs. Uh, we did some research on SARMs. I was personally involved, uh, not taking the SARMs, but uh, personally involved over overseeing a, a, a study. And what we found was pretty much the following in short. SARMs will work typically in a dose or uh, and dose higher than what is prescribed uh, or you know recommended because mm -hmm. these are over the counter, right? Right. Um, and you will typically have the same or worse side effects and, and as an anabolic steroid, an oral anabolic steroid, that's important, these are orals, but uh, right. just to compare uh, uh, apples and apples, uh, you know, whereas, uh, you know, this might cut your, um, your HDLs in half, um, you know, uh, antivirin might cut it by a third. Wow. I mean, this is comparable to, you know, Winstrol is the one, uh, um, Stenozolol is the one that will pretty much ruin your HDL within three days. I mean, at least cut it in half, wow. maybe worse in three days of use, right? SARMs would do that or worse. At least the, we, we worked with, um, was it uh, Octarine? What is the name of it? Uh, Osterine, mm. sorry. That was a SARM that we worked specifically with. Uh, didn't make the manufacturer very happy either because our conclusions were negative. My partner and I again did all the work with the, the, the volunteers and whatnot and it was, uh, it was not good in that um, also it suppressed your endogenous production wow. as, as an anabolic. So the gist of the study was, hey, if you're going to use something for wasting disorder at, or as a replacement dose of something, then use the real thing. Uh, you know, use the real anabolic steroid or use, um, you know, testosterone. My personal opinion about why this happens is, you know, in more of a human uh, uh, perspective uh, observation is that I think, you know, who doesn't of us like to have the freedom to do what we want? And it's coming from a registered libertarian, so yeah. yeah, I'm a little bit biased. But I think people just enjoy the fact that, hey, I don't have some doctor telling me what I can do or you know, if it's not the doctor or the pharmacy or the DEA or whatever. Right. And so they cotton to... A SARM because it's over the counter, That's right. or you know, worse than SARMs, I would say, are some of these precursors that can, by definition, they're being precursors, can turn into something that you want or something else that you don't want that people don't think about, right? Because uh, they look at the the the, uh, the illustrations that show, oh, look, it can turn to this, but never mind these other fifteen <laughs> things that will kill you or make you horrible. <laughs> Uh, but I, I think that's the driving force. I don't think it's the price. I don't think SARMs are necessarily cheap, are they? I don't know. No. Uh, no, it's like $80, 90 for some product. Okay, wow. so I, I think it's a matter of freedom. And I get that. But, yeah. you know, use your freedom to do the research and find out. And I realize that's the point of this question. Yeah. What, what's, what's actually better for you? Uh, specifically, yes, it did contribute to some muscle growth. Um, and, it, and it acted in many ways just like an anabolic steroid. But more expensively apparently mm -hmm. uh, and because I mentioned you need it even more than this, the dose that is recommended out there at least what I what, what the manufacturer of Austrian recommended wow. um, and uh, yeah the, the same or worse side effects so yeah I, I would the upside? With, uh, yeah, there's no upside I, I would avoid SARMs yeah very cool thanks Todd.